It's been about eight months since I added vermicomposting bins to my garden beds and I thought in today's video I'd give you an update of how those bins are doing and what I've learned along the way. If we haven't met before, my name's Angela from Growing in the Garden and I love to share garden inspiration and helpful tips so you can be successful growing your own garden. Eight months in and I am loving having the vermicomposting bins in my beds. They made it through our summer and they're making it through the cooler winter. We've got happy worms, a happy gardener, and definitely happy plants. One of my favorite things about having the bins is how easy composting kitchen scraps has been. In the past, sometimes it was tricky to make sure my compost was at the right stage to add in kitchen scraps. It may have been a little bit too far along to add in those scraps. But with these bins in the beds, it's always the right time and there's always a bucket that needs more scraps. It's super easy to add those scraps, put a little bit of leaves or a little bit of soil back on top and the worms just go to town. It's one of the best parts about having those bins. One thing that's been really fun about having the bins is you never know what you're gonna find when you open the bin. I don't always remember what's going on in the different bins, and so it's a little bit of a treasure hunt when I open it up to see what's inside. Sometimes good, sometimes not so good, but it's always an adventure. <laughs> okay, looks like I must have composted some potato peels. Now we've got potatoes growing in the vermicomposting bin. Let's see. Yep. My favorite thing is to open up the bins and see just dozens and dozens of worms just going to town. What used to be kitchen scraps is now their breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I love it. Here are a few things I've learned along the way by having these bins in my beds. One question I get asked more often than almost any other is how do those worm castings get out of the buckets and into the beds? And that happens in a couple of different ways. First off, the worms help a lot with that job. They move the castings in and out as they travel in and out through the beds. So that's one way. Another way is if all of the food scraps in that bucket become composted and when I open that lid I see that is just full of nice rich castings mixed in with the soil. I just scoop up those castings, spread them around the bed, and then start the whole process over again. More shredded cardboard or paper or leaves to the bottom of that bucket, more food scraps, and then another layer of shredded cardboard or paper or leaves, and the worms find their way back into the bucket. No need to add more worms. Another question I'm often asked about the bins is what do the worms do in the summer? And that is an excellent question and the very reason that I decided to do in-bed vermicomposting. The first time I tried to do vermicomposting, I had a bin, tried to take good care and be a good steward of the worms. Mother Nature had other plans and it is very hot here in the summer in Arizona. It was too hot for the worms and unfortunately those worms are no longer with us and I'm very sorry about that. I still wanted to have the benefits of vermicomposting without killing the worms. So when I saw the in-bed vermicomposting at Arizona Worm Farm, it 
it resonated with me. I thought, you know what? That seems like a great way to do this and they were right. It's been, it's been great. What do the worms do in the summer when it's hot? Well, they do what they do normally. They burrow down and find cooler soil. So during the summer, the worm bins are definitely less active, although I still continue to add food scraps because of the high temperatures and all the microbial activity going on in the beds. They still get composted down. It may not be as much by worms during the summer as it is just by high temperatures and things being broken down. As the temperatures began to fall at the end of the summer and especially as nighttime temperatures came down, I noticed more worm activity. So those worms simply burrowed down into the soil, did what they do, and then when temperatures were more favorable, they burrowed back up and started going and went to town. No dead worms. So score one for vermicomposting in beds in hot climates. Eight months in, and I am loving having vermicomposting bins in my beds. I'm hoping to add additional vermicomposting bins to my other garden beds this spring. They've been a great addition to the garden and now I can't imagine gardening without them.